So when you arrive on a market with a tennis trader, um, it automatically calibrates to that market. So what it basically does is it looks at the score, looks at the odds in the underlying match, and then it says, oh, okay, you know, I've, I've seen this match before. It looks like this. These are the values of the score, and these are the odds, and therefore this is the basis on which I project for all of the odds within this particular match. So when you arrive at a market, it does that calibration automatically. If you arrive in a market um, and it's in play, then you have to set up the score and click calibrate to allow it to say, OK, these are the odds, this is the score, and therefore I recognize this match as the following, and then it can project forward from there um, itself. Now, calibration takes place automatically, and we use um, a value uh, in the center of the market that basically is looking at um, the chance of a player winning a point. And when you look at that percentage chance of a player winning a point, once you can establish that, then Tennis Trader can project that forward. Now we've had requests about being able to modify that particular metric, and so we've happily integrated that into the latest version of Tennis Trader. If you go to the spanner up here and click on Adjust Calibration Settings, you can actually seed the model with a calibration point that you wish. So you can go into the market, you can type in 0 0.55, 0 0.57, whatever you want to. And when you click the calibrate button with that seed value, what Tennis Trader will do is it will look at the score, it will look at the odds, it will look at the seed value that you've typed in, and then it will hunt around that level. So what it's trying to do is it's trying to work out what chance a player has of winning the next point. And if you type in that chance here, so this is a 57% chance, it will actually hunt around that value to find the nearest match based upon projecting that forward and what the odds currently are and what the score currently is. Now, if you want to get really clever, um, you can actually, and that's actually, I should say, that's fine for most people, you know, uh, keeping it at the same value is fine for most people. But if you want to get really clever, you can adjust the calibration seed or to take it to the next level, you can actually put in fixed calibration values for each player. Uh, but that's something that's quite advanced and you, of course you'd have to work out what the seed value is. So um, this isn't something that's recommended for beginners or first time users but it's something that should be helpful to people that um, have done a lot of work on this side of things or are trying to adjust the model to a finer level of granularity based upon information or statistics that they may have on each player. So if you go to Tennis Trader next to the calibration tool is the spanner and that's where you can adjust either the seed value or the fixed calibration values of uh, each individual player or for the match using a fixed uh, or a, a fixed value um, a fixed seed value that's the word I was looking for it will hunt around this level whenever you click calibrate um, but the fixed calibration values as the name suggests will remain the same as the match progresses so you may actually want to go back into there and adjust them based upon whatever you're trying to do. But like I said, it's an advanced setting, um, but it's there for people that wish to use it. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial?